hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel how's everybody doing today i'm doing great as you can see i'm packing this box is down at the beginning on the floor packing everything up getting close into boxes just moving we got less than a week here um let's see you know i want to give you guys a bump update <laughs> baby boy is almost here you could, of course you can see i'm getting rid of everything behind me she's coming off beds you know just doing clean with me and packing because your girls we moving out of here even though i'm even though everything bad happened to me and that person messed me over i still am thankful for a place that we do have and we are going to because at the end of the day even though me and my child's father we clash sometimes but we you know we stand strong and, and i'm kind of glad i got you know somebody there that i can also you know have because i know it's hard times and i know right now guys i was supposed to take you to my new place and do a little tour but i still can do a little tour of my room so it wouldn't matter to me unfortunately where i'm at at the moment in my life it's just things are not going as i would hope for things to go but it's it's life if you see my hair moving it's because my fan in the background is just on guys but yes the girl is my first time using this because when i pack back four years ago when i had my own place i just used tape this would be my first time using this guys but of course i wanted to bring you along with my journey of packing and a clean with me video because you guys never get to see me hair tied up t-shirts pants sweats your girl y'all never see my myself dressed up like this you never seen your girl dressed up like this and of course my daughter in the background trying to mess with things but we just want to give you a clean with me video and help me pack guys and guess what guys eight more weeks and baby boy will be here so how's everybody doing i know i've been busy for the last couple days no ma'am uh-uh 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 go bye-bye go here take this since you messed it up my daughter wants to mess up the box i'm sitting here trying to put tape on this box and it's impossible because she keeps trying to tear the tape off the box i'm like kids but yes i'm trying to do a clean with me video and also pack with me video all in one it's kind of hard you know because it's just me packing right now and this is gonna be a little noisy guys and let I mean, you guys know that it's gonna be a little noisy but this is what i'm doing can i bring you guys i'm probably gonna sit you guys right here let's see if i can get you close that's what i'm doing yeah perfect let's do this way this way I think we can do this this is like a pack in a box but i just wanted to come on here you know because that last video i made i was very emotional i was because of course relationships are not perfect and they're never going to be girl did that a girl did that my first time using this guy so okay and judge me but like i said i did make a video that was emotional and i was really going through some things guys and look i had took my nails off guys since that nail broke i had to take all my nails off and going back to the nail shop this weekend so I just wanted to come on here, you know, to let you guys know I'll be getting my nail set. Let your girl stay at the nail shop. I go every two weeks. Gotta keep your girl looking good. Lashes stay on. This is just a clean with me video because girl, this girl, I, I always stay fresh. Every time I make a video, I always stay fresh. I'm like, I can't even get my words out today, guys. I am so sorry. But I'm staying fabulous as always. Stay beautiful as always. Your girl stay with them lashes. I need to do a lash with me video so you guys can see how 
beginners put on their lashes i do need to do that because i am i'm not gonna say i'm a beginner because i once was a, a beginner but i am going to say this <laughs> the girls out there don't know how to put their lashes on i do need to give you a little little video but me i became a pro at it put my lashes on <laughs> as you guys can see i do need to do a video and i do need to do I have straightened my hair. I can do videos for you guys. Any videos you guys want to see. Of course, my daughter is always in the background. Of course, you're always going to see her in the background. As always, that's my beautiful. Ah, 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 ah. No, ma'am. As always. But we're not perfect, guys. I want to put it out there. Everybody's not perfect. We. Okay, let me switch it. So, I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk to you guys. I'm trying to figure out the angles of the camera because it's like it's so hard it's like when i put you all the way back there against the wall on the pillow you guys are like far against the wall but if i put you closer to me it's like you can see me up close and you can do a little top of me guys but yes on my last video i was emotional i was crying because we go through a lot of things i'm not perfect okay okay babe can you give me a second okay thank you my kids want to bug i'm trying to get something out but life are not perfect i don't paint the picture to be perfect i'm not gonna say i'm not going through things and things are going to be a one i'm not gonna say that because i would be lying to myself and i would be lying to you guys if i said i was perfect i'm far from perfect i don't paint my picture as perfect and we go through a lot of things and I'm just the type of person that likes to be, you know, very open. No, mommy, you can't have this no more. It's not going to open. Let me give her another piece, guys. Here. Okay. I'm going to be very open and very blunt with things. And I'm going to share my emotional side to things. Yes, I cry because, yes, I have this person that I know that I, w I used to work with. This is not a, like a friend friend, but this is somebody I actually worked with, okay? And, you know, she had her friend that she clearly knows, right? So, from there, she kind of let that person mess me over, and she still hasn't hit me up to this day. So, I'm just like, it is what it is. I should have known better, and that was kind of on my part because sometimes i be too kind i be too kind-hearted and i don't see a lot of people out there that are messed messed over basically in the mind i don't never see that when i meet people i'm always generous i'm always courteous i'm always kind to people so i wouldn't think people would be out here you know being like that to me that's first of all i wouldn't think somebody would do me like that especially because i don't do people out here if you come to me and i'm you know doing anything possible to help you i'm going to help you i'm not going to be like okay let me help you or let me halfway help you and not fully help you and then mess you over or i guess you guys can say i guess disappear you know that's not the type of person i am i'm the type of person if you need me i'm there i'm never going to leave your side type of person but i get it you know this world is crazy and we have a lot of evil people in this world and I ain't going to say no names because I do know that person's name. And I don't want to put that person's name on here for clout because don't nobody need clout on my platform. My platform is just for me, my family vlogs, and my life, you know, the life of Carissa. If I'm putting anybody on here, it's my kids, my friends, my family. I'm not putting nobody on here just for clout to make money off of me. That that person already scammed me already. Made a $350 off of me. Yes, I'm going to put it out there. That person made $350 off of me. And that person has yet to respond back to me. And I don't want to take legal action because it's like this person... It's hard to get a hold of. I don't know the person's full name, but I do know the person's social media accounts, you know? I just trying my best to keep my head up and you know staying strong and doing this move with my child's father is the best route for me as of right now i'm not gonna say it's gonna be long maybe a month a month and a half or even less than a few weeks i am having our 
third baby so it's just like okay i don't have i'm running out of time i'm running out of options and this is my only option for right now so i'm going to write it out i'm going to do the best i can with my situation and i don't need negative comments so if you guys on here and you're negative please do not be negative to me okay i don't need no negative comments i don't need no bad hate i don't need no hate i don't need nothing i just need people to understand my situation from my standpoint how would you how would you go about things handling your situation this is the best way i see things fit and what's making it best for all for me and my kids and once i get to where i want to be or where i need to be in life then yes you guys i will share that but right now i'm packing and you know my child's father gets his place well he gets his keys next wednesday so it's like i'm running out of time and i don't have any more options i can't get my own place the place i was supposed to get was supposed to be september 10th he gets his keys on the first i was supposed to get my keys on the 10th so of course things didn't go out that way he did offer me to come live with him just for you know until i get my place and i mean things do hurt me because we, we were complicated okay I, under, I, under, I understand okay but please go thank you and it's not that it's not that i don't want to move with him it's just the fact that we're going through a lot and this is not how i wanted things to turn out no i'm not gonna cry guys this is emotional for me it's emotional experience for me my kids just for me in general it's very emotional because i didn't think that being with somebody for four years would turn out this way Okay, because like last video I stated, I did date for eight years. So this will be my second longest relationship. So for me, it's been a lot. It's been an emotional roller coaster for me. And I'm trying to learn how to deal with things. Because I'm not only I'm dealing with things for me, but I'm dealing with things for my kids. Because I do have to parent. We both are parents to these kids. So at the end of the day, I do have to parent with my child's dad. And I don't need negative comments. I don't need nobody just coming on here and being you know dry hating like people got to understand certain situations don't always work out the best way and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that i'm okay with things not going what's life without <laughs> what's life without mistakes what's life without challenges trials you know what's life without that we wouldn't be we, life wouldn't be impossible if we didn't have challenges in our in our way guys so i'm just gonna put it out there like this if we didn't have challenges we didn't have anything in our life we wouldn't make anything possible daughter can no ma'am mm -mm. no i'm not getting it get down my kids always trying to fight me to get this <laughs> i ain't gonna get that i'm just that parent it could be my vlog but please stay down from trying to get the box like my daughter in the background it's like it's hard to pack with the kids they're always in the background i need to make um a night routine with them so i can show you what i do at night and no guys they go to sleep on time it's just when their daddy's home <laughs> i'll be trying to get him to have them on a schedule no ma'am open the door ah, 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 ah. the reason why i'm saying that because that's going to fall no it's going to fall my daughter is crazy because look, I do have her daddy's workout equipment up there. As you guys can see, that will fall. And I'm just like, not trying to see that fall. So I'm very cautious with my kids, as you guys can see. But I just wanted to come on here so that you guys know what I'm doing. I am packing, of course, my clothes. I'm trying to put the clothes I don't wear into boxes you guys can see like this I wear here shorts guys you got to stay with a lot of shorts pregnant women out there this is one thing for women out there you got to stay with with them how would I say leggings leggings is the best thing to wear when you're pregnant and because it's like they scratch and grow with you I could get the same size I had when I was like before i you know put on my pregnancy weight when i was working out in my weight loss and 
now it's like them pants grew with me so that's good guys so ladies out there to be more what you call it it just like this i don't wear this no more like that's going in the box um do we do this so that's kind of gonna stay out because what i don't need is a lot of things let me put you guys up here because maybe you guys can chill right there for a second some things i don't wear some things i do wear like this i wear i wear that i kind of can keep this out because i can put most of my stuff in this thing i do have a white box behind me sitting up on my dresser so it's like i, I could put the stuff that i do wear by the time we leave this place i can put it in that white box yeah but anyways guys i don't i'm gonna stay on topic you know this is a pack with me video slash i said cleaning with me video i can't really do a lot of cleaning because like i said i'm busy packing my clothes but yes this is kind of you know a little pack with me video and you know check with me in and check with the pregnancy i do have my doctor's appointment next wednesday i'm going every two weeks now like i told you guys every two weeks and after every two weeks will be one week and after that one week boom bada bam baby boy will be here um, of course i'm hella excited i'm just trying to get everything organized so oops almost dropped you guys but i wanted to get everything situated for baby boy to be here and of course dealing with outside situations and parenting and you know just dealing with life expectations and everything of course guys so i just don't want to come on here and just be like oh I'm, I'm i'm happy dealing with this like people have to understand like i'm going through you know a situation that i'm learning how to deal with not dealing with it with y'all but personally dealing with it within myself so okay, my, my just excuse me but <laughs> i just wanted to come on here and just to give a little video just to give you a little update to what's going on of course as you guys can see clothes going into the box putting stuff into boxes we're gonna be out of this place guys because <sighs> lord knows i need a bigger place bigger everything because mommy needs her own time and of course guys next few weeks you'll be seeing baby boy here and hospital bag what we're gonna pack in my hospital bag what we're gonna pack and i'm just a lot of things and oh and of course guys once i have baby boy i'll be doing workout videos with with you guys clean with me videos night routines newborn routines everything i probably won't do newborn videos i'll do like maybe a hospital routine and um pack with me for the hospital because i do i do want my my life to be kind of private i probably won't do all the extra stuff but i'll just show a little bit like a little 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 bit little bit but once i get everything settled guys you guys will know the move is <laughs> countdown to next week guys and we will be out of this place As you can see she's going bye bye everything going bye bye boxes boxes packing i didn't pack the toys toys is packed the closet's packed um kids clothes is packed i got a few more things that they need to be packed into boxes like their other stuff that they don't wear into boxes as you guys can see because i did buy extra stuff for them and then i need to go go clean their closet when i get their stuff into their new closets i need to do a clean with me video for you guys there and i need to give away some clothes i do got hella boy clothes so if you got a boy comment down below i am having a boy but i'm i'm not gonna keep everything there's certain things i want to keep and there's certain things i want to buy for him so of course i'm not gonna keep everything but if you do have a boy out there please comment down below and let me know so i can kind of put everything to the side because nine out of ten i'm not keeping a lot of things because i do have a lot of boy clothes like a lot lot from newborn all the way up to four years old so that's like a lot of boy clothes a lot of hand-me-downs guys and of course 
baby boy he's he's gonna be a newborn so i'm not gonna keep everything in my closet of course mommy and daddy would be doing updates with clothes and stuff so it's like i have newborn to freaking four years old clothes so guys if you have any boys out there i need some boy clothes comment down below and let me know mothers out there fathers out there nieces whoever is needs baby boy clothes please comment down below and leave your name and leave your email if you can so i can get in touch with you by your email or a comment and then we can go from there on your comment in the description down below um what else is there before i go because i gotta go here and finish cleaning these boxes guys i gotta do what i gotta do i have time to come on here and update you guys yes i am smiling because a couple days i was i was emotional and I was just going through a lot. A girl goes through a lot of hormones, changes, body changes. We're going to talk a little bit more about all of that. But for right now, guys, please comment down below. Leave me your name and your email if you want boy clothes. I'm not going to charge nobody. It's kind of like donate clothes. So I'm just like, if you need clothes, I'm here to give it away. That's the type of person I am. I'm not here to be shysty with anybody, but... I do have baby boy clothes, so if you need some, let me know. Holla at me. Holla at your girl. And what else? What else? What else? Before I go. Oh, I will be doing a doctor's update Wednesday of next week. So stay tuned for that video. Stay tuned for the doctor updates. And stay tuned for baby boy baby boy's arrival. No, I will not be filming um hospital video for the birth or anything but i will get back on here and talk about my birth and experience with him but i will not be filming his video of course guys i kind of want that moment for myself and i just don't want to put it out there for the world to see i kind of want that special moment that bonding for me if you guys can understand that then it's a personal thing for me i just want baby boy and me you know to have some alone time because guess what i got to come back home to be a mother to my other babies and of course of course i'm going to be sad and i'm going to leave my other three kids while i go give birth it's like the hardest thing to be a mother is like you gotta go give birth and you gotta leave your little ones to go to the hospital it's like i don't want to leave my baby especially my baby girl like i'm overprotected over her and i just don't want just her being around just anybody that's just how i am with my daughter like that's my only daughter that's the only one i got so i'm overprotected over her. so i'm being in the hospital just you know my mind just gonna be in other places but i just you know pray for the best guys pray for my delivery pray for me to have a good delivery and a baby boy's arrival of course <laughs> a few weeks will be here and i'm planning birthdays i'm a busy month I said I'm a busy month. I'm a busy mom, guys. And I have a busy life. So for this next few weeks, guys, if you don't see me on here, it's because I'm really busy. But I promise you, I will be back on here. And I probably will do, like I said, I will do a hospital um, get ready with you guys. Like what I'm packing on my hospital bag, I will do that for you guys. So you guys can see what i'm packing for the hospital and um stay tuned for all of that because babe boy will be here and this year this month these weeks this pregnancy won't buy so fast guys like this like this like this like i was pregnant with my daughter it didn't go by fast i was pregnant with my other son it didn't go by fast i was pregnant with my first son it didn't go by fast but this pregnancy went by hella fast like where did the time go like i'm going to miss my baby bump of course like you guys like i told you guys i'm not done having kids but i'm not gonna have kids until i'm have um uh, you know to marriage but this will be my last one until i'm married but i do want another baby girl so cross your fingers guys to get my another baby girl in the future until then baby boy will be my baby he'll be the last born of course my daughter is my baby of course and my sons and my babies but i can't wait to have another girl so stay tuned for the future vlogs and, and we're just gonna see you guys later so please tell a friend 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 friend comment like subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for the next video guys until then you know what it is peace out